What's up guys? Uh, I'm doing this video to help out anybody who has a 2016 Ford F-150 and wants to look into Apple CarPlay or the Android CarPlay. Uh, what I noticed is that um, I updated it. So I updated it to the 3.0 uh, sync. And I thought that was it. That's all you have to do is just update the sync 3.0 version. And then from there, it would just be plug and play. So when I did this, plug that in. Now I'm gonna attempt to plug in my plug in uh, my actual phone right now that I'm on. I should just pop up. See, that's all that opens up. No CarPlay, no Apple Play, or none of this stuff. It's just regular, like it was. Not like I was says, after you update 3.0. Come to find out, the 2016 Ford F-150s, you need a USB module upgrade, basically, which is this little thing right there. Basically, basically, I gotta upgrade that. And this is it right here, to the Ford dealership. Um, when you call and ask you need a, a upgrade for a 2016 Ford F-150 USB module, they will tell you that they're gonna be back ordered or they don't have them or it's funny they can't find the actual part and all this other stuff. I read to the forums that this is the actual uh, part number. When you give it to them, they're gonna be like, that's not right, it's for a Ford Flex and for another vehicle. But multiple times, multiple videos that I've seen, it should just be plug and play, even though it's the wrong part the only thing that will happen, they won't void your warranty, I asked. Um, you just asked out $80, or how, whatever, how much you pay for it. So, I'm gonna try it right now, see if this is the actual one. I actually got a call back from one of the Ford dealerships, and they said that they contacted actual Ford, and said that this is the right serial number, or this right uh, part number. So let's see how it goes. All right, let's attempt to move this. Uh, flathead screwdriver, they got uh, actual like prying tools on Amazon you can buy. What I do is I just wrap the metal in like some tape or Teflon tape just so it's a little, there's a dent or scratch up your hole, you know, center console piece. So I'm just gonna put it in as much as I can and just twist a little bit. Just enough to pop it up. Ooh. See? That's what happens. That's it. One. Let's try the second side. back in on actually. Let me pause. Okay, so you definitely want to pop this out. I did put a little indentation in it, but it's the old one, so I mean you can just, it's not that bad. Uh, what I did is popped it out on this side first, and then what I did was I put the screwdriver, slid it up here to the top, which is right here, and just twist it a little more, and it just popped right out. Here are your wires. So definitely I'm gonna turn off the truck now and uh, not do this with the truck on. So let's do that. Hold on, one of those 94 fucking degrees. But yeah. Turn off, take the keys out. I'm gonna open the door so everything shuts down. Goodbye, Ford. So, 
Now I'm gonna, these are just tabs, I believe. It should just come out. So I can do this with one hand. Yep, one hand, pop right out. The other one should be right here, another tab. All right, so this is a tab right there. You gotta push that top of the tab right there and then push that in so it's up here and pull. So I'm gonna put the phone down real quick and try doing that. Be really careful with these wires though. Yeah, I heard these wires are the main wires. So now they're out. This is going back. Don't need that to go back. You need to come out. Oh, shit. Okay, bam. Last right, second go down. All right. Next part. Open up the new module. Let me ask the serial number. Oh, this is and if this doesn't work, I'm just gonna pop the old one back in like nothing even happened. But you cannot return this once you put this in. So you bet I'm just going to somewhere and just reselling it for just as much. Quick. No, I do this all with one hand. Alright. When you get the part though, always inspect the the pins, make sure the pins are all good and it's all you know. None of them broken, they're all there, not bent. Uh -huh. So this is how it goes in, brand new. Nice plug and play now. Let's see if it plugs. Sorry about the pain, it's all like a fucking airport. I'm gonna leave it out right now just to see if it actually turns on. This just works. All right, it lit up. That's good. I'm on my window so you guys won't hear those uh, planes no more. All right. One reason I left it out is because if it doesn't work, I don't want to re pop this out. I'd rather just pop, pop it out one time. So it's gonna connect it's automatically uh, hooked up to the actual, uh, how do you say? Bluetooth. All right, so this plug is USB in. All right, so that's plugged in. Now let's plug in my uh, Apple phone. Bam. Well, you know, popped up right then there. Apple CarPlay. We'll go. Continue. Agree. So, there you go. Popped up. Apple CarPlay. Cool. Uh, I guess you can only use their maps through here. Can't use your other navigation. Uh, yeah. It worked out. I, uh, when I, when I plug it in, obviously the phone cut out and uh, stop recording. But uh, let it, when you plug it in, plug and play and everything, uh, it was giving me a little funky message or it wasn't really connecting. So I just like, kind of repopped it out, took out the plugs, replugged them back in, a lot more firmer. Um, and I let the truck off for about three minutes and I turned it over and here we are, good to go. So like I said, hopefully this helps out people. I really do hope so.
Um, it just looks badass. And, uh, yep. Like I said, 2016 Ford F-150. Uh, that's the, right there, that top half is the part number. They have the other part number that illuminates in white. I actually do not know that number. This is for the blue illumination. Um, but yeah, pretty badass. Apple CarPlay.